Starlink satellite internet is evolving very, very rapidly, both in terms of service and in terms of equipment. As a result, our earlier Starlink videos were outdated almost as soon as we produced them. So it's time for us to revisit Starlink satellite internet for RV travelers in 2024. So stay tuned. Many folks enjoy RV camping for the opportunity to disconnect. We get that. However, there are other reasons. Work, personal safety, even just keeping the kids entertained, that for many other people, they're constantly on the hunt for the best way to stay connected while RV traveling. We work from the road, so for us, internet connectivity is absolutely essential. And there's no better way to stay connected than Starlink satellite internet. Unlike cell data, Starlink works anywhere in North America, as well as many other regions around the globe. You don't have to be in close proximity to a cell tower. All Starlink needs, at least in North America, is a relatively clear view of the northern sky. Even if you don't have any cell signal, you still have phone connectivity by using Starlink and the Wi-Fi calling feature on your mobile device. We've had Starlink since 2021, and gone are the early days of complicated setup and configuration every time we would change campsite. We now just plug it in, set it out, and forget it. It does everything by itself. And it's been a complete game changer for us. We used to pull into the most beautiful boondocking spot in the world whip out our cell phone, check signal strength or data speed, and realize we can't stay here. And we'd have to put the truck back in drive and go find a different campsite. Now, as long as we have a clear view of the northern sky, we're good to go and camp virtually anywhere. Because Starlink is regional, there's no longer any need for expensive cell roaming plans while traveling through Canada or Mexico. That's opened up Canada for our own 2024 travel season. Unlike current cell phone plans, all of which limit hotspot use, Starlink is completely unlimited. We go through two to three terabytes of data transfer per month. Like many things in life, success while RVing depends upon starting with the right equipment. And we're going to explain in just a moment why Starlink works so well. But before we do, quality of your sleep while RV camping is critical too. And just like Starlink depends upon starting with the right equipment. That's why we'd like to take a moment to introduce you to our video sponsor, RVmattress.com by Brooklyn Bedding. Improve your sleep while camping with a new RV mattress from our video sponsor, Brooklyn Bedding. They offer four different mattress constructions in 21 different sizes, depending on preference and price point. Everything from standard queen to all of those funky odd RV sizes. Brooklyn Bedding manufactures all of its mattresses right at their factory in Arizona. And RVmattress.com ships them right to your door for free, all rolled up and compressed in a vacuum seal. Just cut the wrap to unroll the mattress onto your bed, then cut the vacuum seal. For our mattress, Brooklyn Bedding starts with a layer of high-density foam for a supported base. Just above the base, an 8-inch core of over a thousand individually encased coils provides the essential support. Immediately above the coils is a 1-inch layer of memory foam and 2-inch layer of hyper-elastic Titanflex foam. Finally, at the very top is a 1.5 inch layer of antimicrobial copper flex foam with Titan Cool, which is designed to maintain an ideal sleep body temperature of 88 degrees. Every RV mattress from Brooklyn Bedding comes with a 10 year warranty and a 120 night sleep trial. Visit rvmattress.com slash grandadventure to get 25% off your entire purchase with promo code grandadventure. There have been, and continue to be, 
other satellite internet providers like Viasat. So what makes Starlink so special? Starlink is fast, approaching home broadband internet speeds. There are a number of factors that determine internet speed and one of the most important of which is latency. Latency is the time it takes a packet of data to go from your device to the internet and back to your device. Starlink achieves low latency thanks to the low Earth orbit of its satellites. At the time of this video, there are over 5,600 Starlink satellites in orbit, like a mesh around 342 miles above the Earth. More are being launched on average every five days or so. You may have seen a Starlink satellite train like this one cross the sky. These are satellites that have launched but not yet placed in their final orbit. By comparison, Viasat operates five satellites in geosynchronous orbit at 22,236 miles above the equator, 65 times farther away. This allows Starlink to achieve a current average latency of 38 milliseconds, slightly longer than the cable internet average of 28 milliseconds. To use Starlink, you first have to buy the equipment to communicate with these satellites. That includes a dish antenna, a Wi-Fi router, and a 50-foot cable to connect the two. Starlink introduced Generation 3 of its dish antenna and router at the end of 2023. The Gen 3 dish is reportedly modestly faster and better at locating and locking onto satellites, with a target of 150 megabits per second download speed versus 125 megabits per second down for Gen 2, and 25 up versus 15 down. The Gen 3 router uses Wi-Fi 6 for better future-proofing and the ability to connect multiple devices via Wi-Fi without substantial speed degradation. It also provides a slightly longer range. Now, between the dish and the router, they now use cables commonly available with RJ45 connectors that are waterproof and dustproof, as opposed to the Gen 2 router, which uses this somewhat fragile proprietary connector. The Gen 3 router also has two Ethernet ports, which the Gen 2 router lacks. Starlink's Gen 3 equipment package sells for $599, the same price as the Gen 2 equipment package. It's available directly from Starlink.com or through retailers like Best Buy, Home Depot, Bass Pro Shops, and West Marine. The dish itself is slightly larger than the Gen 2 dish, but it's thinner because it lacks the positioning motors. Instead, the Gen 3 dish has a built-in kickstand. You have to manually align it with the help of the Starlink app. That's not as cumbersome as it sounds, but it's not as simple as the set it and forget it Gen 2 that aligns itself. Starlink is no longer directly selling any of the Gen 2 equipment packages. Although there are still some available through Home Depot at the time that we're producing this video. Ourselves, we don't really feel a burning need to upgrade. None of the Starlink plans are sold under contract. All are billed on a month-to-month -month basis and you can cancel at any time. All Starlink plans come with a free 30-day trial. The most common option is mobile, which gives you unlimited regional land-based internet access for $150 per month and utilizes the $599 equipment set. While this is designed to be used while stationary, you're allowed to use it while moving, but at speeds only up to 10 miles per hour. You can upgrade from regional access, in our case within North America, to global access for an extra $50 per month. You can also pause and resume mobile on a month-to-month -month basis. If you need internet access while underway, say while driving a motorhome, it's gonna cost you. Rates range from $250 per month all the way up to $5,000 per month, depending on the amount of priority data purchased, although all plans include unlimited global non-priority data. And these plans also require a $2,500 equipment package, rather than the $599 package. For obvious reasons, most RV travelers opt for the regional mobile at $150 per month. 
Just to clarify, this video isn't sponsored by Starlink in any way. We're just very, very happy customers. In summary, Starlink provides unlimited mobile internet service that works virtually anywhere for $150 per month and an upfront equipment cost of $599. Nobody else offers anything that comes even close to that. It's no wonder that Starlink dishes are popping up at RV parks across the country like daffodils in spring. We hope that you found this information useful to you. If you liked this episode, please be sure to give us a big thumbs up down below. That's extremely important to us. And while you're down below, we'd love to receive your feedback. Do you have Starlink? What do you think? Uh, are you contemplating Starlink and there are some questions that we can answer for you? Hit us up in the comment section down below because we'd love to hear from you. We'd be honored if you shared the channel with your friends, family, and on social media. But if you're not yet a grand adventurer yourself, we are now only three short weeks away from our departure date when we're going to be heading out for RV travel all across North America, bringing cinematic travel episodes to you. So I can't think of a better time than now for you to go smash that little subscribe button right down there in the lower right hand corner of your screen and ring that notification bell to be sure that you never miss a grand adventure, which we premiere every Wednesday evening. So until next Wednesday, please remember, life is nothing but a grand adventure. We'll see you then.